Hey everybody, Katie here with Backwoods Pursuits and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it is a beautiful snowy day out here in the Allegheny National Forest. And I thought it would be kind of fun for today's video to cook up a big hearty pot of venison stew using the old 12 inch cast iron Dutch oven and doing it right over the open fire right out here in the snow. We got a pretty big snowstorm moving in. They're calling for 12 to 18 inches of snow. We'll see what happens. But uh, I thought it'd be nice to have some venison stew for the weekend in case we get snowed in. So it's a little bit of a process. Got the coals to uh, almost the point where we're ready to start cooking. So let's get right into it. I get some nice hot coals over here. I got a nice little bed here. I got a bed here that I can continue to feed, but that way I can put the old Dutch oven there, otherwise known as a three-legged camper. You can set this right on top here. Let that warm up. So now you got some hot coals, let this thing warm up real good. I'm gonna put some olive oil in there and then the first step is gonna to be to brown the meat. So this is the venison chunked up and all I do is put it in a bowl with some flour, some garlic powder, salt and pepper. That's what's mixed into the flour. You wanna get it coated really nicely with the flour. So that way we can brown it. That's an important step with stew is brown in your meat first and foremost and then start it on a slow cook after that. Just get it coated nice and then we'll shake it off, put it here and it'll be ready to fry. All right, so we got our pot warming up here. I'm gonna put some olive oil in there. Just enough to give it a good coat. Good and hot there, that's what you want. And start throwing in the meat. Browning of the meat in a stew is crucial because you can seal those flavors in. Another key to cast iron Dutch oven cooking over coals is you gotta keep rotating if you have that fire on the side. That side always gets a little hotter. That smells good. All right, now that we have our onions and celery browned up a little bit, let's put in some tomato paste. Two six ounce cans because I'm making a really large pot of stew here. Mix that in nice. I think the tomato paste helps to make a nice rich sauce for the stew. You can hear that pan is good and hot. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm gonna turn this pan around because it's really hot on that side. All right, now that I mixed in the uh, tomato paste well, I'm just gonna kind of deglaze the pan with some wine. Got a cup. You could use beer for this. A good dark beer would be good. But wine is what I have. And this just makes a nice base for our sauce. It smells awesome. And the meat, of course, was already coated in flour, but I'm going to throw just a little bit more in. That'll help thicken up our sauce. Two or three tablespoons. And I'll link the recipe, or I'll put the recipe in the description. All right, next step now that we have the onion, celery, and tomato paste, and we deglaze with some wine, we are going to throw our venison back in, our browned venison. And by the way, I don't think I mentioned yet, this venison came from the buck I shot in archery season this fall. And I will have a link to that video in the description if you want to check it out. I did film it. So there goes the meat. Also from the buck I shot this fall, I made some bone broth from the bones. So I'm going to add a quart of that in there. And that is hot over there, as you can hear. <laughs> and two bay leaves. I'm just going to mix that together a little bit here. And that tomato paste in the same pan that I brown the meat in really is building a rich flavor. Stew is all about building flavors. It's not hard, it just takes a little time. And that is smelling awesome. And also, my secret ingredient for this stew is, this is, um, I had coffee this morning and this, I ran the grounds through a second time. And I'm going to add this right to it. I think it really gives it a nice flavor and rich. And especially since I'm not using a dark beer this time. I used wine to deglaze it, so I'm going to add about a pint of coffee to that. Mix everything in and now we're just going to let this cook just as it is without the lid because we want it to kind of render down and develop a nice thicker sauce. I'm going to cook this down for about an hour. And in the meantime, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this fire. This is cooked down for a good hour now. You can see it reduced quite a bit. It's already got a thick sauce-like <clears throat> meat. I can already tell the meat is tender. Now we're gonna add potato. Got, I think I had three red potatoes and three carrot stalks. Ah, uh, carrots. <laughs> add those in. Oh man, that's. Outstanding! Oh, that looks so good. That is going to be awesome. Stir those in there. It looks amazing. And then we're going to put the lid on and let this cook for another hour, give or take. Because we want the vegetables to cook some, but I don't want them to be soft. I like a little crunch in my veggies. And uh, let that cook down for about another 45 minutes to an hour, and we'll be ready to eat. Ooh, yeah. 
Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, look at that. Nice and thick. Beautiful sauce, stew. Let's test a carrot and a potato. Let's see if we're done. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, that's perfect. It's getting a little dark out here, but trust me, it's perfect. Final step. To add some frozen peas right at the end. Bag of frozen peas. Stir those in. Awesome. Little crushed pepper. Little stir. Get those peas cook just a little bit. We'll be eating. It looks awesome. Gotta love a Dutch oven. And a warm fire on a snowy day. Check it out. A giant cast iron Dutch oven. Awesome. Delicious. Venison stew. Look at the thickness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Bay leaf. Look at that. Look how nice and thick that sauce is. Woo wee. Oh, my. Oh, my. That's going to be awesome. That venison is so tender. That's from the buck I got this year, too. Oh! Mmm. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that's good. Excellent. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching my video. Um, as you can see, it's, it's dark now, it's still snowing. But I'm going to sit out here by the warmth of this fire and eat this hearty bowl of venison stew. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. Stay tuned for the next Backwoods Pursuits video. I'm thinking. My nose is running and stuff, so... Good beer roll. I need, yeah, I need a face. All right, dogs, get out of here. Get, get, get. Love you. But get. Oh my God, you guys are gonna be pumped about this stew, by the way. It's so freaking good. That's outstanding. It might be the best stew I've ever made. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Gosh, that's good. Oh, I'm excited. Mm hmm. Mmm. That fire's hot. Watch out. People who tell you that they don't eat buck, I think they're crazy.